this is a new series I'm going to do every year at the end of the year. 2022 didn't really have much for good, amazing DLCs, downloadable content, but there's one DLC that came out this year that was, it was not like an amazing DLC, but I would say it was the best DLC for any game of the year in 2022, and that is Dying Light 2, Stay Human, Story DLC 1, Bloody Ties. Dying Light Bloody Ties introduces a new area of the main map gives us a map expansion called the Carnage Hall, which is a fight arena, which is, it's not what you think. It's not like where you can start fighting and be the last one standing or survive a bunch of zombies or enemies like round waves. This one, they did something different, Techland, and that was really good for them and unique. And actually has a decent story to it. It's not perfect, but the story's about... Uh, a kill a champion that is turned into a monster like that is really not just kills people in the arena but outside the arena called Skullface and Aiden must rise up in the ranks in order to defeat Skullface and end his chaos once and for all but before that he warns about a champion, a former champion, that lost everything, that became an alcoholic, that lost his son because he betted on him, and he has another son that wants to become champion, and he doesn't want his other son to die, and so he, because he basically has nothing left but his son, Shiro, but anyway, the woman in charge of Carnage Hall, his name is Astrid, and we later find out that she manipulates uh, people, and she's really not that much of a good person. But anyway, this DLC was f basically like the new Olympics, but instead, it's it's in the apocalypse, set after the fall of humanity. And in this thing, you're not just like in cages fighting amount of enemies you're actually doing stuff like parkour events uh cage matches boss battles there's also events where you have pick up things and stroll them in things and like then there's different types of tiers there's hard normal and nightmare and that can be difficult like extremely difficult on your own but with co-op people friends you can get it done pretty good anyway this DLC also gave new outfits new clothes and new weapons that can be acquired in just by one hour doing it some side quest and other things like there are some Easter eggs like Rise's men Haran in here and they also m mention Atizen, and this DLC also gives the uh, camouflage thing to walk past zombies, like where you put blood on yourself, like in The Walking Dead. And Dying Light 1 had the camouflage thing. One more thing I'll mention about the story. Later on in the story, you learn things are not exactly how they were. You, f you find out the uh, dad of the two children... The son died, one of them, which I already said, and you learn that he betted on his kid. And also, you also learn at the very end, there's a huge plot twist who Skull faces. I'm not going to spoil it, but this DLC can be emotional at times, like not where it'll make you cry, but there are some good plot twists in this DLC. Like, the story's not perfect, but... It was still a grid DLC. The voice acting was good. Choices were like decent, not amazing, but they were decent choices. And I'm really glad, like I said, Techland came up with an original idea for a fight club. 
instead of just see how long you can survive and uh, also be the last one standing. Like, they really did a good job making a DLC as basically the new Olympics, but with zombies and people that fight each other. And, oh yeah, it's set between the story, not after the story. So yeah, like, it's just its own thing, the uh, story of Bloody Ties. Overall, this DLC is not perfect, but I I think in my opinion it's the best DLC of 2022. Because I don't see, I don't think any other game had, like much good downloadable content for a DLC. And I must say, this is one of my favorite DLCs that I've played in a while in recent years that came out. It's not better than Dying Light The Falling. Obviously, because The Falling was a whole new thing for Dying Light 1. But I'm pretty sure Techland's going to make something like the following or even better than the following for story DLC 2. Overall, I give this DLC an 8.2 out of 10, an 8 out of 10 for great. I recommend picking this DLC up. So anyway, that's why Dying Light 2 Bloody Ties gets best DLC of the year, in my opinion. Where are 